Hi kindergartners, Mrs. Mean Super here, and today we are gonna go on a shape hunt around my house. I have a special guest here to help me. It's my daughter, Taylor. Hi. Today we're hunting for different kinds of shapes. So Taylor, what is the first kind of shape that you're gonna be hunting for? I'm going to be hunting for pyramids. Okay, and I am going to go around the house and hunt for rectangular prisms. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Let's go hunt. Okay, I was able to find a box of Expo markers. That is a rectangular prism. I also found this book. It's a rectangular prism too. And then I found a deck of cards. This is a rectangular prism. Okay, what did you find? I didn't find any pyramids at the house. No pyramids? No. Oh man. Okay, so I found one, two, three rectangular prisms. Here's the number three. And I didn't find any, so I put down a zero. Okay, so we have three over here and zero over here. We're gonna use a comparison sign to compare the two. So which one is bigger, Taylor, three or zero? I think the rectangular prisms have more. Yes, the number three, the rectangular prisms have more than zero. So the sign that we use is called the greater than sign. And we can think about the greater sign, the greater than sign in two ways. The first way is we can think about the smaller part pointing to the smaller number and the bigger part pointing to the bigger number. Or Taylor has another way. Um, another way could be, you know, this kind of looks like an alligator's mouth and it wants the bigger number to have more food. So you can put little teeth to be the alligator and he's going to eat the bigger piece. <laughs> okay, so alligator wants to eat the more or the bigger amount. So three is more than zero. This amount is greater. Okay, let's go on another hunt. Let's take away our shapes here. We have another hunt to go on. What are you gonna hunt for next? I'm going to hunt for cones. Okay. And I am going to go around the house and hunt for cubes. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're back. How I, many did you find? I found one cone. Oh, awesome. That is a cool cone and it even says awesome on it. <laughs> <laughs> so one cone and guess what? I was only able to find one giant cube. It's huge. Here's my giant cube, I'm gonna put it over here. Okay, so you found one and I found one. Let's put down our numbers. Hmm, wait, one, one. Those are the same. Taylor, what sign do we use when things are the same? We use the equal sign. Okay, so one is equal to one. This side is the same as this side. Okay, are we ready for our next shape hunt? Yeah. Okay, the next shape I am going to hunt for is a sphere. What are you going to look for? I'm going to look for cylinders. All right, let's go hunt. Okay, I'm back and I found a sphere. I found this outside. It's a softball. And then I also found another sphere. It's this. It's the globe. I found a sphere. All right, Taylor, what did you find? So I found a water bottle. Oh yeah, that's a cylinder. I've also found a battery. It's like a cylinder and I found a cheese stick. Ah, those are all cylinders, you're right. So how many do you have? I have three. Three cylinders and I have one, two, two spheres. So there's my two and there's your three. Now, which group has more? I think the cylinders have more. So I put down the sign. Oh, right, this sign means less than. So the smaller side is pointing to the smaller number. The bigger side is pointing to the bigger number. Or Taylor, what else could we do? It could be an alligator eating the bigger piece. Yeah, so two is less than or smaller than three. The alligator wants to eat that bigger amount. All right, Taylor, thank you for helping me go on a shape hunt. I had so much fun. <laughs> okay, so now it's your turn. Can you go around your house and find spheres and cylinders? 
or maybe some cones or some rectangular prisms or cubes, let us know.